an idea which made me think I'm going to give it a new I need to know I'm going to record it because I live in a small community and it would be a tour of the world. So let's go get see you'll see what I'm going to do. I'll explain and then I'll do it, then we'll come back to the alarm. Okay, so we all know that compost is getting more expensive and so we need to find other ways of trying to uh, sort out our mulch and soil for continuing our hobby and love of growing and now I look a little bit monkey but I've just been cycling this morning so excuse the look <laughs> I've cycled for two hours and then I'm here right let me show you what I want so this is a bed for one of the other allotment tiers and what they've done is they've just put the leaves on top sorry I'm losing my bag which I'm going to use to carry my leaves so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go up the road there's loads of leaves free and available and I'm just going to get them and use them to mulch my open bed where I had the sweet potatoes and sweet corn and some of the other beds as well so that's the plan why not hey let's okay. go this is my start point the allotment is down just about where you see that car turning that's where the allotment is so we're going to start at this point and work our way down and the aim is to try and fill this as much as possible because if I can do that today it'll be great it's tempting to keep moving further up because as you can see there's loads of leaves but I think this is a good enough starting point let's see how we go <sighs> Lord help me okay have you ever been to a no you can eat buffet because this is what it this is I haven't even touched half of what is available and I feel like I should prioritize this at least do two loads of this so I'm actually going to walk back to the allotment to get a wheelbarrow so I can wheel this thing back what made me think that I could even wear it after it's full of wet leaves let See? me show you that's the pole I started at this is where we are now and I'm not even getting everything you, you feel like you don't want to leave anything this bag is huge and it's full as much as I can fill it without killing myself and I've still got this lot so I'm thinking I'll do from that pole to this pole before I focus on anything else in the garden so I'm going to go get my wheelbarrow now so that I can actually get some more because this is great this work is made even harder when you've got a crappy wheelbarrow really really need a better wheelbarrow but I've been promised one so I can't buy one there's someone who's got two who which he will not leave later so for now I have to continue suffering because <sighs> it would be easier to wheel it if the wheel wasn't kind of skewing and skewing and skewing and skewing either way <sighs> the prices of my grid greed I should call it even as I call it grid it's not grid it's being too keen and agree that is I've broken my wheelbarrow it's totally and completely warped beyond use and now I'm going to have to drag that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly drive home and get myself a the home dustbin I saw one that is available without a cover I think I can now see how useful a wheelie bin can be but let's first get this to the plot leave it go get the dustbin get the rest of the leaves I'm getting to fill that bin and bring those and then we can do some work I said I was going to be here for two hours it's nearly two hours and I've done so now so life is what it is okay all the delays are because my wheelbarrow can't carry as much as I'm able to carry and push okay let's go I'm going to sneakily record you for a little bit <laughs> I've got the bin I have to leave the car at home because the bin wouldn't fit so hopefully that means my bigger stomach is going to give me more leaves let's go
this is fantastic. I don't know why I didn't think to use this before and it's not like I'm going far. It's called pure and utter laziness. But I don't classify it as laziness because I've already done nearly 40 kilometers of riding. And after those 40 kilometers of riding, I'm now trying to sort out something for the garden. Going to overpack this so that I can achieve what I wanted, which is this area. But and then next weekend, the weather is good, I can get more. So I don't even have to go far from home to get the leaves, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. great tool I think I'm going to come back for one more load because look I filled it I've worked all the way from there as I promised to here nearly so I'm going to take this and then come back for another load because it's worth it definitely worth it Ooh. My other gloves that I was using are not waterproof, so they're totally completely wet. So I'm going to use these instead, which are better, they're waterproof. Okay, I'm back at the allotment with the first load. And I'm just thinking in my head, it's all well and good me collecting all these leaves. The question is, where am I going to put them? And the answer currently is some of them are going to go on that bed there and then in the back some will go into the compost bins once that bed is full I may even throw some here but not today I just need to put, find somewhere to pull them all so that I can actually use them later and I've got these bins which I made into compost bins by putting holes in them, except one. So I'll probably put some of the leaves in those two containers there as well. And then some of them can go underneath the raspberries, even if I haven't cut them back yet. And they'll provide a match for next year. So we'll start off with the bed over there, and then we'll come and fill this bin, which is kind of half full and then we'll see about putting some in the back where the mushrooms were and around here and then i need to i think what i need to do is rather than empty the bag which can actually stay as a composting bag over there the green one just going to try and empty this one and then go get some more one more load and then i'm done I might even get half a load and take it home to put in the pots and I'm not coming back down here if I do that because I think I'm a bit knackered. <laughs> it's hard work because this, because it's bigger, it's keeping me feeling more. This is what it is But now I know that I can put two loads in this. I was already exhausted by the walked wheelbarrow. So I couldn't actually manage as much as I would have liked. So I just need to move this further up so I can wheel this further up, half empty it there and take the rest to the compost bin. Okay, as long as the weather is good on the weekends and the leaves are still falling, I now know that I don't need to go far from home in order to get what I need. There's probably someone selling the, the rape to try as a vegetable so I need to remember to harvest some but first let's do this. Let's clear this path so we can actually get what we need up to this bed here.
I'm laughing at myself because I came to clear beds. I've ended up doing something totally and completely different, but hopefully it will be beneficial. So it's going to take a few wheelbarrow falls to really fill this thing up because look, it was, I've managed to get it to here, I'm sure. And I had some cardboard from home, which I've also added in. The, the fact that these leaves have green and brown already means I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm mixing in enough of the uh, greens. So I also brought some food stuff from home. So what I will do next is I started to fill those ones there. I'll need to organize my compost area better so it's accessible and easy to use. But that's another job for another day. But now I'm going to go back for one more, one more round, which I'm going to take home with me. And I'll also take some of my old compost bags that are empty from here in order that I can fill them with these leaves ready to bring down next weekend. Because I'm just going to take the whole drum home. I'm not walking back down here and then I'll actually just empty it whilst I'm home and put them to the side so they can start to break down whilst they wait, wait to come back down here. I think it's been a productive day. I'm exhausted. I'm knackered. <laughs> but it is all good because we have done well today. We have done very, very well. And I'm sure that I will be reaping the rewards of this pain. <laughs> Right, let's go get the rest of the leaves, take them home and get out of here. If I got thought I'd show you. So what I ended up doing is I filled this bed with leaves, leaf mulch. I filled that bed and that bed with leaf mulch. That should help to give the worm somewhere to stay during the winter. Then, if you remember, I set this bed up last year and I've not used it, but I decided to add some leaf mulch to the two end beds, which only had a little bit of manure in the bottom. I thought, why not use them to add to the composting areas? And that's a breathable material, so whatever is in there is going to compost down nicely. So I just need to go in there, get myself my uh, composting bags and go. I am tired, I need to get home. Okay, we're all done, bin is full. <laughs> Using the bags is much easier. I can see the logic of it. And there's something nice about just picking the leaves with your hands, putting them into the bags. It's kind of monotonous, but enjoyable in a weird way. So now that we're done, I am off home. I'll put all these bags. See, I've just filled the bin right up to the top with bags of leaves. I'll use some at home. And I'll take the rest to the allotment the next time I go down. But it's not going to be today. Today, we are done. Have a great, great <laughs> week. Can you see? Everyone could see me here. And this road is busy today. Oh, well. <laughs>